switch gears a little bit from teams who played with fire with some lower level competition, teams whose offense scored more points than their defense, I'm looking at you, Iowa, or just teams who straight up lost. Blake, who needs the biggest bounce back in week two? To me, it's South Carolina's offense. I mean, South Carolina last week really struggled against Georgia State, which was surprising to me. Uh, Spencer Rattler was 13th in the SEC in quarterback uh, rating with a 28.6 uh, rating, which is not very good. Iowa's quarterback had a had a one, so he did better than that. <laughs> he had two interceptions and a, and a touchdown pass. They're 109th in the country in total offense right now. Uh, they went under four, uh, five yards per pass and under two and a half yards per rush. So really an offensive line that struggled last week against a team that you would not expect them to. The uh, sources that I talked to this morning say a lot of those guys are must champ players. They've got the right guys there. They're just not quite ready yet. So uh, they went in empty protection a lot or empty formation a lot. So uh, that's not a great recipe for success for an offensive line. Uh, if your quarterback's not a great runner, which Spencer Rattler is not. Uh, so we'll find out this week, is Spencer Rattler a guy? I mean, they got a really tough test at Arkansas. Uh, Drew Sanders is kind of a chess piece for, for Arkansas, can play a lot of positions, rush the passer. Uh, Zach Williams is a defensive end for them that uh, had a critical sack uh, that can get to the quarterback. So Barry Odom knows what he's doing defensively. Uh, I think... Uh, South Carolina's uh, uh, Marcus Satterfield uh, is one of the few all, uh, coaches on their staff that doesn't have an extended contract. So it's a make or break season for him. Uh, they're going to have to do better. Scoring 21 of their 35 points off of special teams is not uh, a recipe for success in the SEC consistently. So uh, I'm looking for them for a bounce back for them playing Arkansas this week.